Hello Rogues, welcome to Rogue Report, the Rogue Company news channel. There is a minority of PC gamers that use an operating system called Linux. I am one of those people, and chances are if you clicked on this video, you use it too. So, Rogue Company was impossible to run on Linux computer because of its incompatible anti-cheat named Easy Anti-Cheat. Now the developers have enabled Easy Anti-Cheat for Linux, most likely because of the new Linux-based handheld console, the Steam Deck. By doing this, it now technically works on Linux operating system PCs as well. It's not as simple as clicking on download and Steam and playing it, and it could possibly mean you have to reinstall a different version of Steam. However, it's pretty simple, if you've been in Linux gaming for a while, you should know that there's almost always a few extra steps into getting a game working on Linux. Thank you to Ayanai for bringing this to my attention, and although I didn't figure out how to get working on Linux uh, the first time, I did a little bit more research and I figured out how to how to get to work on Linux. So thank you very much, Ayanami. I probably wouldn't know about this for a good while unless you brought it to my attention. So thank you. Uh, so firstly, you gotta download a road company on Steam. You gotta make sure you have Steam Play enabled. You can enable it in the Steam settings. So you go to Steam in the upper left corner. Then you select settings. In this settings menu, you scroll down to Steam Play and check both of the boxes that I have checked off. This will enable Steam Play not just for Rogue Company, but any other Windows native games that you would want to play on Linux. You also need to select which Proton version you want to use. I use Proton Experimental, it worked for me, but you could tinker with other Proton versions if you like, if you're familiar with Proton, if there's a certain version you like to use. But for people who are inexperienced with Proton, I recommend Proton Experimental because that's what works for me. You will also need to install another Linux compatibility tool that Steam conveniently has in their tools section and can be found in the tools section of Steam of the Steam library called Proton Easy AI Cheat Runtime. It can be found, you know, right there. You just click install and it's a fairly quick install. It's very, it's very, uh, it's a very small install, but this will enable Easy AI Cheat to work on Linux. So at this point, for some people, you should be able to click play and it'll run just fine. However, so for some people, you may get an error that says failed to load the AI Cheat module. In this case, you'll have to download a different version of Steam from Flathub. The link to Flathub will be in the description. It's a safe download, and Linux users have been using Flatpak and Flathub for a long time. Uh, you'll need to set up Flatpak if you haven't already. I'll put the link to set up Flatpak in the description. Just follow the instructions there once you've selected your Linux distribution. It will require a restart of your computer to function correctly. So once you have Flatpak downloaded, you can go back to Flathub and click Install. From there, just follow any prompts your computer gives you, and it should be installed. Now you can just open Steam and re-download Rogue Company and any other games behind your Steam library, or just download Rogue Company and use this version of Steam solely for Rogue Company. Make sure you set Proton Easy and HE Runtime and it'll Steam Play again, and hopefully it should work. If you run into any issues trying to get Rogue Company to work on Linux, just leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I see every comment and respond to any questions no matter how old the video is. So even if you see this video three years later, hopefully I will see your comment and I'll try and help you fix any issues that you may encounter or answer any questions that you may have. So that's all I have for this video. Please subscribe to me for more Rogue Company news and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.